But I found the common thread throughout the process, uh, four months into it, was empathy. And it's really understanding what's going through somebody's head. I think what you're going to find today is you're going to find that this seminar is put on from your perspective, not from mine. Uh, the opposite of empathy, you know what it is. Anybody know what it is? Ego. Okay? So empathy means I'm thinking about you. Ego thinks I'm thinking about me. So when you go through it, uh, it'll, it'll just give you some better perspective as far as some of the things that happen. And, and it really starts with beginning with the end in mind. So what you're going to see me present from is you're going to see me present from a lot of the things that I'm thinking. I understand what that person is feeling. And the subtitle of the book says, Build Your Business and Your Wealth by Putting Yourself in Other People's Shoes. I believe that people in the mortgage business have got more of an obligation to manage net worth today than we've ever had before. Because we only see both sides of it. We're the only ones in the business that see their assets and their liabilities and know their whole history, see their credit scores and go through that. That's what I believe. So there's a huge obligation on us in this business to be able to do that. Matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I want to do this. Okay, selling price or advice. The book that changed my life, the gentleman right here in front of me, he talked about it over here, this whole table was on the same page. Value versus price. That book changed my life in 1995. Tracy and Wersmer wrote it. It's called Choose Your Customers, Narrow Your Focus, and Dominate Your Market. See, you can pick price. You really can. I think Walmart does a great job in the price arena. You can pick price. Or you can pick the advice side, the value side of the proposition. And you can make it on both those sides. But you can't be the hybrid. I believe and I want you to get this, I'm going to get this, drive this home even deeper. I believe that any company, any company, you need to understand where do you come from. I believe value and price are as wide apart as pro-life and pro-choice. You know, so you're looking as wide apart as that is. And I think that's where sometimes we make the mistake in this business, is that we have a tendency of being that trying to be that hybrid trying to deliver all the good things that Nordstrom's has with the Walmart price. Do we have any husbands and wives in the room? Right here in front. In this next slide, okay, you may need some coaching so you can help him, okay, because we don't want to get you in trouble today, all right? This is your anniversary. It's your 25th wedding anniversary, okay? All she wants from you, all she wants from you is she wants you to take her to dinner, okay? You only have two choices. Here they are. Ruth Chris, Sizzler. <laughs> now you can think about it if you'd like. Okay, but where would you, where do you think you should take her to dinner? Ruth Chris. How about a round of applause for the right answer, right? Okay, why? <laughs> yeah. Well, it only took us about 17 minutes to go down to the dark. Well, it was earlier. We thought we had that other conversation in the back back there. So we're way down the dark side. So I know what kind of audience this is. We can kind of play to that. Right? And where would you want him to take you? Why? Think about that. It's $32 for the steak. It's a la carte. You can buy the whole restaurant for $32 on the left-hand side. Okay? Do you think there's valet parking at Sizzler? Probably not. Can you get a reservation at Sizzler? No. So you can get all that stuff for their price, and over here you do that. But this is a buying pattern that we have as a consumer. Yes? You start to think about that, and those are just two different restaurants. What else? What are the other reasons why he should take her to the restaurant? Anybody? It's about the experience, right? What else? Value versus price. What if the quality was exactly the same in those two restaurants? Exactly the same. Ruth Chris, $32 for the filet. I don't know what they call that steak on the other side. Okay, $32 a la carte. You want mashed potatoes, you want those al gratins, whatever they are. Your bill, was, our bill last night was $108. What do you think our bill would have been at Sizzler? If the ex experience was exactly the same, the taste of the steak was exactly the same, what would you do? Anybody? You'd go to the other place, right? If it's exactly the same, because if this price was, I could walk out of there with a $26 bill, and that price was $106. I know it's hard for you to believe that Sizzle would be exactly the same as Ruth Chris, but pretend for, make believe with me just for a minute that it is. 
If it's exactly the same, then what are, what's going to happen? Then he eventually is going to gravitate towards what? Ruth, Chris is not that good anymore. And I'm, I only have two choices. I'm going to start going to Sizzler. You may even encourage him to be able to say, honey, let's go to Sizzler. Because it doesn't really make that much sense to be able to be 300% more in dollars. What do you think happens in the mortgage business? What do you think happens in the mortgage business? They think everything's equal. They think everything's equal. That's the difference. You know when people come to you for price, guess what they leave you for? Price. 